It's time to kick off those boots and paint those nails, girl, on another exciting episode of the Cowboy Howdy Podcast. <laughs> Wait, governor. No, then I'm coming correct. <laughs> Let me talk to you guys about something that they can do both drunk and high that is extremely pleasant. I think our podcast needs a budget for guns. Kale, boy. Rowdy. Well, shoot, dang. Crack a cold one, baby. What is it with this fucking podcast? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, man, we, people can, you know, people can do whatever they want, right? <laughs> Even cowboys. It's like a judgmental in the first six seconds of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, your host, Cam Beasy Berry. And joining us as always, we have our studio engineer, Sebastian McCabe. Yeah, what's up here? Uh, just overcame some uh, little bit of technical difficulties, but uh, we made it. We're here now. The phone is the nice. correct way. There is not sepia, but some sort of filter on there, and we are looking smoking. Also here, <laughs> Monterey Bay comic and show producer, Michael Booth. How's it going? Very good, sir. How's your time been? Uh, pretty good, dude. I've just been uh, working out, going to work, doing that stuff. You got to do a quarantine-safe comedy show live. Yes, last night. Not Zoom. Was... Not Zoom. Not online. No bull- Not like this bullshit. You did some real, real motherfucking shit. Yeah, it was on a parking garage in Santa Cruz. Shout out Brian Snyder, Sam Weber, uh, and Natasha Collier was also on there before she moved. Pretty helpful mm, with that. Mm, but mm. yeah, that uh, that was really fun. Um, super fun. Awesome. That's dope. Live comedy. You got to do live comedy in a parking garage where it's supposed to be. That was amazing. Yes. <laughs> Just yelling, yelling outside in the mic. Yeah, it was awesome. Yelling the, at cars is how form. comedy started. Into car radios, because it, uh, it was through a transmitter. So I was yelling into people's cars. It was cool. Imagine if you could do that felt on like the highway. I felt like Alex Jones. Imagine if you're on the highway and like someone cuts you off, and then you could just yell into their car. Like, oh, you <laughs> yeah, instead of a horn, it's just another button sucker. you push. You just <laughs> set up with a transmitter and start doing a set, and you just catch people's, you catch some stations. You just roast them for the next twenty minutes to live more. <laughs> that would yeah, be roast, oh, dude. Yeah, if that would that'd be a funny <laughs> segment, yeah. <laughs> if the other drivers on the road could hear the shit that I yelled at them in my car, I would get murdered inside of a week. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be a lot more murders on the I five. Oh my like, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Not good. Oh man, speaking of saying things that are not good, Jeez. did you guys check out when Donald Trump was plugging Goya beans at the White House? Yeah, his, his daughter, it was Ivanka, right? Yeah, it was Ivanka doing the. Yeah, she, yeah, had, she like, posted the prices, her, like her yeah, nice little picture with right. it. Yeah. <laughs> How is this possible? She's literally Vanna White now. That's why they named her that. They were just trying to find something that was Vanna, but a little more Russian. Yeah, of course. Like here's my water. Dude, yeah. Like, how can you, isn't it, like, I remember one of the presidents saying they had to sell their farm when they became president, because you can't, you can't have private interests when you're serving the country. This yeah. dude's selling beans. <laughs> what? Do you think like, he gets, was... like, a, here, here's the question, because, like, okay, the, the person who, like, runs the company was, is, like, a supporter of him or whatever, which is why it's this big controversy, and it's, like, do you think he actually gets anything out of this like do they donate a shitload of money to him or something like does what? he get free beans like are they gonna make yeah, wartime yeah. Beans? <laughs> lifetime is supply? that what we're getting out of this yeah i'm not He's sure like, we're getting so many wartime beans we're gonna survive world war three <laughs> not yeah, sure it's why a lifetime that. supply yeah. in the trying to basement build up of the, the national, white house yeah the national stockpile of beans is getting yeah, a healthy little beans. donation maybe he's doing the lord's work for goya in the country mate i don't know but it seems kind of odd to me and on that thought i thought this is a good time for us to try and strike out some new sponsorship deals. Maybe we could do some partnerships with some presidents. What are some presidential campaigns we can come up with? You know, like how do we make that money? I think Talking about uh, like what 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 is she like a replacement is for the Goya beans? Like a, or like, supplementary income, baby. Let's add as uh, build. I want I want a multiple revenue streams. Like how could a how could a president really cash in? Because bean money is not much. We all know this. I eat like um, five beans a year. They've got to be bigger stockpiles that you can build off of. Like, 
I think for uh, have you guys seen those uh, those sunglasses that Joe Biden always wears? He always wears the aviators, like with the gold frames. Oh, Ray Bans. Yeah, you gotta get a Ray Ban sponsorship for dude, Joe Biden. Dude, what if they made bulletproof Ray Bans for the president? Uh, you know what, dude? I'm I'm looking at these sunglasses that Joe Biden's wearing right now, and um, I have bad news, folks. I think I have the same fucking. Ones. <laughs> <laughs> you already bought in hook line you haven't even heard about his platform yet and you no, already no. bought his goddamn sunglasses you're a yeah, sellout I, Seb you're a sheeple got... you are sheeple you're to the max <laughs> yeah hey, Seb if... you fucking sheep yeah. what if uh, what if the president started their own podcast you is that why you're, you're growing your hair back out they're like the, the wool of a sheep <laughs> it's almost harvest time bye sheep bye <laughs> I thought I thought it was pretty lame that Michelle Obama started a podcast and her first guest was Barack Obama. Like, yeah. like okay, like, yeah, of course. Who of else course. Would be, right? yeah. But, like, come on. Honestly, I'm down for it because, first off, imagine how slighted you'd feel as Obama if you weren't the first guest. You're like, bitch, you would be nothing if I wasn't fucking president. You're not going to have me out one time? You're not going to say one thing about it? <laughs> like, I'll be fucking mad. Like, let alone you're her husband and you're like a famous like social rights lawyer, but you also become the first black president, still don't hit the radar. <laughs> like, still can't get on mad. the pod, bro. That'd be I'm a cold-ass dinner that night after yeah. fucking Gary Sinise uh, comes Michelle. over. Thanks for having me on, Michelle. Michelle, uh, I saw that your your first episode came out of your podcast. I, uh, Bro, your impression of I, Obama I just we... sounds like me. I'm sorry. I tried to do an Obama. I, I don't know how to do It Obama just sounds like... I'm not saying it's wrong. Like... But to yeah. have Polly Shore on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the Michelle Obama fight companion. Uh, yeah, I heard she started a podcast. I haven't lo- listened to it yet. Okay. How have you it's not, gotta... you not see it like all over Spotify, bro? It's like on the first no, page I didn't of see every it. fucking thing. If she knows about the aliens, that should be episode one. If she doesn't like, hey, babe, why don't you talk oh, about that dude, night you came home and course. told me about the aliens? How are we that not? Yeah, episode dude, one. aliens are, yeah. How is that not episode one? Like, why don't you tell everybody what you told me that last night in bed aliens about Aliens are real? Yeah. Yeah, tell me that really quick. <laughs> tell me about that needle we gave our kids to where they never aged. Do you want to tell everybody about that really quick? <laughs> Keep them young forever. Like, yeah, I want to see somebody drop like the real exposés, but I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon. Not anytime uh, soon. You know, honestly, here's one thing that I think that would be a really good cash in at the time. Uh, condoms for Clinton. Like, yeah, you, you think he, He's like, listen, think he it's not them? sex if it's wrapped, okay, baby? <laughs> you gotta check out Clinton's condoms. <laughs> do you think he's? Do you think he's really out there slinging it like that these days, though? Or do you? Think I don't he, think he's using he condoms to be true. honest. Yeah, he he doesn't dip into the supply. <laughs> I don't think they have. They might not it's have. It's all them. profit. It's all for profit. <laughs> I don't think they specified whether or not they actually had condoms on Epstein's island, so. Oh, what God. does that have to? Oh, Probably God. not, but like I don't wanna know. I don't think that was the t- like. Give me a list of the scumbags. I don't need any more details than that about the yeah. island. I don't even want to know the square footage anymore. No, just like, seriously, keep those yeah, I don't even want to. Yeah, keep it to the list of names. Just keep, make it a firing squad on YouTube, and I'm good with that. <laughs> That's not appropriate. <laughs> I don't know. I, whenever one of those lists comes out, I always just look at it and I just like Control F, you know, to to search, and I'll just type. I'll just mm-hmm. think of like some random celebrity or politician that I can think of. Just like yeah. oh. um... I don't know Trent Reznor or something. He probably hasn't been there. But random like, celebrity from just the some 90s. random one, yeah, and just see if see if they've been on that fucking plane. <laughs> also, also, I I Google myself to see if uh, if yeah, that list it's has come like out that yet. Angie's list for politicians now. It's like you can vet your politicians. Like, have they been to a secret pedophile <laughs> island? Ooh, they have. I'm gonna have to go with the competitor. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good campaign slogan for someone. Just like has not been. T- he yeah. has no association with... Zero ties with. to Epstein. <laughs> Actually never met. We should start that's, our own like that's Better sad. Business that's Bureau. Like the, yeah. yeah, we should start our own Better Business Bureau for politicians. <laughs> and we have like a blue ribbon stamp we give them if they haven't been to the island. <laughs> Not <laughs> like, part of a sex call. Yeah. For a low cost of $999, <laughs> we'll vet all politicians yeah, we'll for certify. any amount of sex cult activity. Yeah. <laughs> this politician but... is certified Epstein-free. Dude... <laughs> 
It'll be the most important political endorsement that you can get because nobody will be able to get it. <laughs> Dude, certified Epstein freeze. It's like the little certified organic label on foods. <laughs> or the gluten free oh label. Just like, no Epstein oh, association. Dude, here. Well, wait. Can we go back this to the podcast? For a second? <laughs> this podcast is 100% Epstein free. Yeah, right? we got the first right. 100%. 100%. We got it from Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have, uh, um, man. Can, can we go it... back to the Goya beans for a second? Actually, I just got one thing. I know we went on a little bit of a tangent. <laughs> so the Goya beans. What? What? Who makes Goya beans? Is that what? What are those? Goya. What, what are they? I've never heard of Goya. Is that like a like? Do you guys buy Goya beans? No, I. It's buy, a brand um, that I've seen in the store before, but I've never gotten it. Yeah. What aisle? What aisle are Goya beans in? Is it like? I think yeah. they're in the beans aisle, bro. Like, beans or they're. Aisle? I think. I or I think sometimes aisle. it's I like. I see the traditional ba- refried beans. I see. I don't see Goya. I think they're a brand of bean that's like normally in the aisle that has like the, like the Hispanic food aisle in the store. Hold on, always, he's like, buying like. He's partnering with like traditionales, like Mexicano beans, like from the Hispanic I, aisle. I th- I think so in some stores. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I hold think on, this that's... motherfucker builds a wall to Mexico, and then he starts partnering with beans from Mexico. I think they're they're like made. It's an American company. I don't. So yeah, is, you gotta is look it like a up. slight? That know. feels like okay. a slight almost. That's like he's partnering with Aunt Jemima. That ain't good, man. I don't like that. <laughs> Yeah, Jemima. no. Honestly, I like lighthearted oh. presidential campaigns. I think they should sell like my pillows and stuff. Like imagine okay, a ShamWow yeah. president. He's like, I'm gonna so, clean up this country. <laughs> He's like just selling ShamWow. Yeah, they're American <laughs> producer of brand foods sold in the United States. Okay, so it is. Yeah, founded it is in New York. It must. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I think it's just, so, just like a brand of black beans. bean or something. I don't it's know like, where they're at. It's like New York beans then. Man, I'm just looking at this picture right now. I don't, th- I don't right think New York of, when I think beans. Of the president like giving a thumbs up in front of a bunch of Goya products. This is a great photograph. They should hang this. If for you what, who, listening at home, please find what, this picture of Donald Trump giving a thumbs up in front of a bunch of Goya products. It's very funny. What if he just did a thumbs up for disposable plastic bags? <laughs> you could Photoshop anything into that picture. That's I'll, yeah, like. I want him to endorse plastic straws. <laughs> he partners with plastic straws, dude. That would be funny. Or just oh, like him uh, throwing a car battery into the ocean. <laughs> uh, that's what you're supposed what to do with him, right? Is he just lighting Teslas what on fire? Fuck, like... Just throwing a car battery in the ocean. What the fuck? <laughs> well, look, you can... Nobody can stop you. He's like the new Teddy Roosevelt. He starts like turtle hunting. He like, just has no, like no, a trebuchet. No, no. Yeah, he's just like a trebuchet with batteries. He's just like <laughs> <laughs> just flinging them. them. We're gonna clean War. up this country. He just starts hauling trash out on catapults <laughs> and shooting it into the ocean. We got the wall. It's time to clean up our beaches. <laughs> you just see him like pissing. And then he in justifies the it. He's like, "We have less trash in the land. We have more trash in the ocean. There's less trash in the land." He's like, "Listen, I'm the king of real estate, and we got new." Real real estate it's called trash God, island so <laughs> you're gonna love trash island. dumb shit like that too <laughs> welcome to trash island all right this is An trash this whole thing trash. went to trash we gotta cleanse ourselves we got we gotta <laughs> get out of this we can't do all. <laughs> oh listen i i have one <laughs> more i have one more brilliant okay yeah we gotta do one more we gotta for do the president more. <laughs> so they're supposed to you know maybe there's going to be a second round of uh, of stimulus checks coming through maybe hopefully one day um, yeah. Canada has been sending uh, $1,300 a month to everybody in the country for five months, but we can't, what? you know. Yeah. Is that for real? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's Canadian money, Damn. so it's worth less, but yeah. Oh, um, yeah. You can only buy <laughs> snow with it. Ugh. So here it is. Here's the move. If you want your stimulus check early, you can pre-order it for, like, I don't know, $200 or something. Ooh. You can pre-order the Cash the advances on oh, stimulus yeah. checks. Yeah. The deluxe Payday early access edition. Do you get like a? Is there like a package? Can you get like a? Oh yeah, dude! It comes in like a whole like ornate like uh, like a big. <laughs> do you maybe frame, get some? Like big... Do you maybe get some Goya beans? <laughs> <laughs> One can of Goya beans. <laughs> 
and the, and it's just a, a, a you know, it's like personal a personal <laughs> Goya being gift from the president himself. Yeah, uh. and it's like a giant novelty check that comes in like this huge package where <laughs> shipping costs like fifty fucking dollars. Everybody just gets these giant draft checks on their No, no, no. Not everyone gets them. Not everyone gets them. It's a limited run, and you have to pre-order for like two hundred dollars to get one. Oh no! Every, Is it one of those? The, you have to peasants. call in to a one nine hundred number to order it. <laughs> it you can only <laughs> find out about it from payments. the hours of eleven at night to three in the morning on Comedy Central. <laughs> yeah, for three easy payments, you can pre-order oh the, God, the deluxe guys. edition stimulus check. I love it. You know they're gonna charge. And you get a handy. giant paper check to you that you have to take to the. You imagine the line at the bank trying to cash these checks, and everybody's somebody would mug giant. you. Everybody's got a giant check. <laughs> yeah, and a you got, hat. You got, yeah, you don't want to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine you gotta try to get a photo of it and try to deposit it online? You're like in your backyard, like <laughs> on a ladder. <laughs> you're on a ladder. So, yeah, you're trying to get. You're like trying to get your phone to recognize the check, so I'll take it online. <laughs> And you're just, come on! And you're like, oh flip God. it over! <laughs> the back side. You, you sign it, and like, you have to like sign it with, yeah, with fucking... a fucking paintbrush. <laughs> you get like, yeah. You use those like markers. You just like some neighbor asshole with a drone is stealing everybody's checks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> somebody with a drone. The bastard on your phone. Steve. <laughs> he says his bank app open on his phone. He clips it to the fucking drone. He's like, copy yes. Paste, copy paste. Copy paste. <laughs> <sighs> that's how the that's how i feel like the administration is thinking the elections are going to go this year <laughs> i think that's what they're picturing happening in the streets yeah. just drones flying around with votes just <laughs> like, fucking, we can't do yeah. mail-in we that would be such a terrible them. idea you have to put your vote out in your yard for them to read from the sky that's such a terrible idea <laughs> Smoke That's how the world votes. ends, you dude. You gotta do smoke signal votes. Like, ah, goddamn yeah. it. <laughs> like the Vatican. I don't know. White smoke, not black smoke. Damn it. <laughs> You're like the only Biden vote for like three blocks. You're like, oh, <laughs> your neighbor's gonna like... beat your ass. <laughs> they just light your house on fire. Just, your house is just burnt. Yeah, you can't fuck, give people dude. torches while they're voting. That's not smart. You can't That's like do not that. even a joke, though, dude. <laughs> It's just like, fuck, dude. That would be civil war overnight. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, let's cleanse ourselves. We we, 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 we got into it. Let's cleanse ourselves. No more political wow. stuff. This has been a wild episode, no more, man. No more capitalism. No more... <laughs> No more presidential stuff. We're not gonna talk about the election. Yeah, we need. You need to take. You need to like. You need to take me and Sub and just. Like, I'm taking us somewhere now. I got it. We're gonna go on a vision quest. This is gonna clean oh, us up. Oh man. And it's Cleanse gonna teach our us about souls, ourselves. Our minds. You guys ever, have you guys ever been on a vision quest before? Not. Uh. Not on I, purpose. Uh, I'm ready though. I feel like it's okay. gonna be. So like vision quest can mean can mean a lot of things, but a lot of times people think you need drugs going on a vision quest. But what remains after the drugs have left your system is the substance of the vision quest. And so I would argue that the drugs are really not an, an impact or a factor in the long run. And so we're going to do it clean, but I'm going to take us on a vision quest. And okay. Michael, I think, you're, I think you're newer to this. We've talked a little bit, Seb, but I'm going to start with you, Michael. So just center yourself and just get yourself in a relaxed state. We're going to talk okay. to... Michael on the inside now. We're not talking to the flesh and bone. We're talking to the person who resides inside that mechanical marvel that is the brain of Michael. And I want you to take that brain now and take yourself to a different place. You're in a vast jungle, and everywhere around you is lush green vegetation. Okay. There's five animals in the jungle near you. You see an insect a snake, a monkey, a frog, and a leopard. Which do you go to first? The rock. Can you, can you say that? Can you say him again? Yes, it's an insect, a snake, a frog, a leopard, and I forget the fifth. I think you said a rock. monkey. It's a monkey. It was definitely a monkey. Okay. Monkey, leopard, snake, insect. Um... Leopard. You go to the leopard first. Which of the animals do you bring the leopard to? The snake. 
Which animal is the snake afraid of? The monkey and the leopard. Which animal does the monkey eat first? Me. The, the snake? Which animal are you? The Think monkey. About it. Think about it. You're the monkey. All right. Would you like to know what your vision quest means? Yeah. The leopard is your penis. Okay. This is like uh, this is like in the Sopranos where, where was it? A, a duck flies away with his dick. The leopard is your penis, and this is your first and greatest interest in life. The first thing you bring the leopard to is the thing you're most scared of, which is the snake, which is passion and romance. And your dick, right? So the, you bring your dick into your relationships first. The monkey is a happy life. And this is what you think your dick and your romance are at odds with. The insect, so small, so fragile, is your Ford Fiesta. <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. And the jungle is the Great Depression looming. <laughs> oh my God. You're, you're feeling overwhelmed, but you have your passions, and your passions will keep you alive. <laughs> Seb. What is Sebastian's fishing? <laughs> Seb. Seb, I'm going to take you on a vision quest now. Okay, I'm ready. I can't I'm... be in a real relationship. Thanks for reminding me, you fucking... Every time you go on a first date, you're going to think about this now. And it's going to fuck you up, dude. So you got to forget all that. Oh, my God. What the fuck? All right, we're centering. We're getting to this. We're getting to the self. We're getting to the self. Seb, I'm going to take you on a vision quest. Okay. Take me there. I'm ready. Now, we're a little more advanced as we were talking before. Did you bring drugs? Uh, no, I left them in the car. Uh, this I can won't go get work them at all. if you no, want. No, this won't work at all. No, it's okay. <laughs> I want you to clear your state of self. Please do it now. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Clearly yeah, I'm... not. Clearly not cleared of state of self. Just go ahead and just go, go ahead and just clear that state of self really quick. <sighs> okay, I'm there. All right. Now go deeper into that state of self that has been cleared into that unknown and all-knowing consciousness. What do you see first? Uh, A big tree. I knew you hadn't cleared your state of self, okay? Because you should not have seen anything. So that was a test. Let's go back, okay? I need you to clear your state of self. Okay. Okay, that time sounded more genuine. You are in a vast ocean now. (laughs) with nothing but your consciousness intact what type of fish swims the deepest those uh those rockfish the ones with the little lights on their heads I don't remember what they're called yeah uh, that's a good one a person cleared of the state of self would know that that was called an anglerfish. Um, I feel like if you're not honest, this vision quest just really isn't going to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, let's I, go I, ahead. I honestly couldn't remember what they were called. Let's go all the way in. Okay, all the way back into that deep, deep state of mind. And let me ask you this. 
Where does the angler fish sleep? In the back of my mind. Okay, you might be a psychopath, because that's a weird-ass <laughs> answer. I've never heard that one before. Either you did this not properly not clear your chart. state of self, either you probably did not clear your state of self, or you should probably see a real professional, because that's pretty <laughs> scary, actually. So maybe we went too meta. We probably went too meta. Uh, were you transcendentalizing, or were you, like, self-exoning, or, like, what were you? Were, <laughs> were you doing, like, a yoni thing? Like, what were you doing exactly? I was just feeling it, man. It sounds like you were doing a yoni thing. Okay, so we'll is that where is that? I'll just is say that, this: is that your 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 dick energy or like your butt energy? Is that your yoni? Is your your wiener? I suppose. Uh, and so let me just say, I'm getting a strange reading while I was taking you on these vision quests, and I think Anthony is also on a vision quest right now. Is that why he's not here? Yes, Anthony is is on a road. The road is wide. The road is open, and there's no one on the road but him. And he has one foot down on the road, and another foot down on the road, and another foot down on the road, and a last foot down on the road. And it's Anthony is a turtle. And Anthony is ever so slowly crawling down this road, and then three strangers pass him on the road quickly. And then he keeps slowly trudging on the road, and eventually he shows up three hours late to the podcast. <laughs> Slow and steady, but still late. <laughs> His was a little bit easier to understand at a first glance. I feel like I didn't have to decipher too much. I think I kind of get his vision quest right away. I think, yeah, I understand that one. Yeah, <laughs> I, have a, I have a whole group assessment I, that I'm getting. I'm not having a ham and I'm going to my trance. Yeah, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a, yeah, I'm going into my. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and we're definitely got a whole group vision thing that I'm seeing here. And I believe that the overall message is that we need to make amends to nature. We need to bring some I think balance. you're right. That, that's one thing that I, when I talked to that angler fish after he told me what he was actually called, um, that was one thing that he told me was we need to, we do need to get right with nature. Listen, if this is the first time you've started talking and hearing other voices, just don't reference me in this incident to your therapist. Cause oh no, I absolutely not. Of, of course. Okay. Yeah. Full, <laughs> full confidentiality. No bro, bro code. We look out for each other and yeah, nobody no talks questions. about each other in therapy. <laughs> no questions. All right. <laughs> Cause you know, it's like confidentiality until there's a crime talked about, whatever. Anyways, what are some <laughs> ways you guys can think of to, uh, to like make amends to nature, like to help, to help out for all the bad we do. Like, how would you even start that? Um, uh, I know how you can, I know the best way and easiest way to fix nature, dude. We just don't consume anything. Just nothing. How nothing. long does this last? <laughs> how long, how long I don't know, dude. How long can you? How long can we go, dude? Figure it out. Is this a marathon or a sprint? Because I'm worried a little bit on one of the outcomes. <laughs> Cause, uh, we just stop. We just done. Okay, that's option one. <laughs> we'll call that option Z. I don't know why we started at Z, but we'll call it option one, two, if you want. Everybody figures out how to grow a garden or something, and we all start just... How much less pollution would there be if I stopped killing hookers? Um, well, are you using that like one. a... Mm. What? I don't... You, you should <laughs> stop doing that. I don't that, kill hookers. But, but I don't know do if nature necessarily cares so much. High consumers. Look it up. Amazon agrees. Oh man, sorry. Uh, maybe you hear the um, the the poorly timed uh, power tools outside. My apologies for that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just say this. I uh, I only have one idea, and I'm worried about even saying it because even though it's such a positive idea, people are gonna construe it as a negative. Well, hey, I well while you mull it over, I've got I've got a real quick one. Uh, don't use uh, gas operated lawn tools. Use electric ones. They're quieter and cleaner. Yeah, I would say Except so. Except do, do they have all the electric ones? Like good, I know sound the advice, ones man. Like, They've got like yeah. electric lawnmower, weed whacker, blower, everything. 
The and you could really still use sucks. the OG mowers that are like those tumble push, mowers. People oh, just, yeah, dude. That's what you do. People just don't hardcore. want to work hard to mow their lawn, man. That's like vegan lawn mowing. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's that's character building. <laughs> when you go use the, the just use the old school thing, the Grim Reaper fucking Yeah, the big scythe. scythe. Yeah, just what if you go way old school and use a butter churn? It takes a long time. <laughs> it takes a long time. <laughs> We're talking about cutting grass. <laughs> yeah, you ever try to cut grass with a thing you use to churn butter? It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what what if we just like had electric everything? Is that actually gonna solve it? Because like there's still a you're still getting the energy source for the electrical. You still have to generate From somewhere. That. Yeah. Does that mean like huge coal mines somewhere? Like, how I think it's just. Where at, I think we just gotta give. Answer. We just gotta. Elon just gotta make more of those batteries and we just got to figure that out elon get on it isn't he mining those batteries from the ground in africa right now isn't that yeah where that's where you get lithium I... so he's just pillaging africa so we can have silent cars Let's go yeah space. he like <laughs> i hope he goes to mars so they can go to mine lithium on mars because that would be much more ethical but how jacked up it would be if we found out he was getting the miners from africa we're like dude <laughs> Still sending them to mom. Yeah. Why would you do that, Elon? So many countries to choose. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just build robots to mine Mars? Whatever. Way better. Way better idea. Nobody has to leave their family. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And we put all the pollution on Mars at that point. Yes, pollute Mars. That's how you save Earth. <laughs> yeah, we just move wow. all the pollution to Mars. Look, I'm pro the planet. I did not there say which go. planet. Cameron's figured it out. We just take all the garbage to Mars. We just blast it into Mars. <laughs> Dude, Trump's catapult, but towards Mars. <laughs> <laughs> just build a super rocket. It's just like... <laughs> They just mold these big, giant plastic dildos out oh, of all the trash, oh and we just my gosh. blast them at Mars. It's, like, it's more aerodynamic. The balls produce wind flap that keep it from going yeah. back into orbit. <laughs> like that scene, uh, yeah, just that scene in Austin Powers would be real life. We'd be like, that looks like a yeah. Except it'd be more like an orgy because like 12 dildos flying past. Mass launch. That's so funny. Oh, man. Well, my idea was not so grandiose, but I think it would have similar outcomes. Um, basically, I think that people are, we all agree that humans are like one of the biggest contributing factors because we put cattle on the, in the spaces where they produce excess methane. Uh, we, you know, harvest and farm and do industry in oh, such yeah. ways that it's not sustainable, that we produce over the consumable means, um, in a competitive environment, there's, you know, always redundant in industry and stuff. And mm -hmm. so... There's all these issues, all these problems, but at the end of the day, it's not just the factory. It's not just the cows. It's the people who are building and gathering those things. And so how do you get everybody into a mindset where they don't pursue that with their time, with their energy, when they don't put their resources into those sort of infrastructure? And I think the first way is you get to know those people. You get to find out who they are. You learn about their families. You learn how to distance them from their families. You learn how to isolate these people. You learn how to get these people to look up to you. You put these people in an environment where they're facing a lot of hard labor and very little sleep. You underfeed these people. You put these people in similar uniforms and talk to them as if they're lowly and of okay. common means. Hold on. You give these people next to nothing. You take everything from these people. And then when you basically control these people, you tell them, stop using stuff. Stop consuming. I feel like I'm piggyback on Michael's idea. And I feel like in order to make that idea work, we're going to need a really good cult. And in a really good cult, the foundation is a really good cult leader. <laughs> and Trump's the guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but I seriously, I think a really eco-friendly cult could do a lot of good. If you take it away from like doomsday stuff and just make it all about planting trees, how are you going to get a million people to plant trees all at once? Get all those people on the same cult. Um, I got nature uh, cult. Nature cult. There kind of is a uh, tree cult in uh, in uh, Carmel, local local town. Is, <laughs> they're wild about trees, motherfucker. 
Dude, that whole that town is a tree cult, straight up. That is the funniest inside joke that like so few listeners are gonna get. Oh my. Oh Lord. yeah, no, I, I know. I love but... that one. I love but, that one. Come visit it, Carmel. It, try and yeah. get into real estate game. Town, town full of rich people love trees. Yeah, don't touch the trees, bud. Do not. <laughs> fuck. Touch they banned this tree. high heels downtown so that they wouldn't have to fix the concrete from the trees. You get a permit, yeah. actually. What's that? You can get a permit to wear high heels. Oh, you get a day-use permit? That's cool. Yeah, That's you get. Cool. I'm you glad go they brought City it back. Hall, they'll give you one. I'm glad they brought it back. So, yeah, I'd say we got some great ideas. The junk catapults, blown up Mars, stop using stuff, start a cult. Um, <laughs> so many positive options. <clears throat> Is there any first positive steps we could take to actually act on any of these? Um, I think I could just, yeah, I'll just try not to consume it all today. Yeah, dude, zero consume today. Actually, I'm about to have some bonchon chicken right now. <laughs> I'm going to consume. <laughs> I'm going to consume a little bit. I'm going to consume a little bit, but I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that's my takeaway. <laughs> that's like that's like this whole COVID thing in a nutshell right there. Like I'm, I'm going to consume a little bit, but then I'm going to stop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hang out in public for a little bit, but then I'm going to stop. I'm stopping after. <laughs> what you guys got for takeaways? Uh, dude, I... <laughs> this episode was <laughs> this episode was crazy. It, uh, it was fun, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, it was fun. It was good times. I don't yeah, I don't have anything other than that really. I uh, I think we've all got a lot of work to do, both in our inner environment and in the Earth environment. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, step step one to that is yeah, we've really got to start some kind of cult and. Really, yeah. kill, kill two birds with one stone, you know? We, we can, can fix promote, a bunch of other like, people while we're fixing ourselves. Yeah, exactly. It'd be so easy oh my God. to start a cult. It'd be so fucking easy. We got to, we, we got to, uh, Cameron, me and you got to hop on a call after this. We'll, we'll get it planned yep. out for sure. Cults are the new podcast. Let's go. Yep, absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about Cameron, you, Cameron? What, what, what have you oh. got for takeaway from all this? Oh, I'm going to go eat some bon chai. I'm going to stop consuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, the title we talked about at the beginning, I think it's got a new title. I just think Certified Epstein Free is the title of the century. Yep, 100%. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's a great cookout. <laughs> All right, peace out. Stay hydrated. Mucho take it easy, baby girls. Check me out on Instagram at campeasy.berry and YouTube at CB Comedy. I'm on Instagram, Seinfeld, S I G H N Feld, and also Fuckerberg. Young Baphomet underscore on uh, Instagram and uh, the fucking Twitter machine. And I'm at underscore M Booth on Twitter and Instagram and then Facebook and YouTube, Michael Booth. And don't forget to check out the Cowboy Rowdy Podcast on Instagram and also the Cowboy Rowdy Podcast on Facebook.